Hi, I'm Martha. Hi, I'm Louisa. Hi, my name is Kamisha. Well, I'm gonna go around the school asking some questions about pesticides. So let's say our knowledge about the subject. Uh, let me see. I think I'll Oh, let's get him. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a substance that uh, farmers use to kill us. Today we're going to be talking about pesticides. So let's start with the basics and learn what is a pesticide. A pesticide is a chemical used for destroying or preventing any pests. In the following quiz, we're going to test what you guys consider a pest. What are some examples of pests? A. Insects, weeds, and fungi. B. Mice and other animals. C microorganisms, or D, all of the above? The answer is D, all of the above. The term pest is usually used to refer specifically to harmful animals, but it also relates to all the other harmful organisms, including fungi and microorganisms such as virus, bacteria, and prion. So what are some types of pesticides? Antimicrobials, to control germs and microbes such as bacteria and viruses fungicides to control fungal problems like molds, mildew, and rust, herbicides to kill or inhibit the growth of unwanted plants, also known as weeds, insecticides to control insects, insect growth regulators to disrupt the growth and reproduction of insects. Come here, follow me. Let's go. Uh, my name is Martha. Do you think I could ask you some questions? Uh, what do you think about uh, products such as bleach? Do you think they have any pesticides on them? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? And what about products such as the ones that they use to kill the cockroaches? Maybe. Maybe? Atrazine is the most common used pesticide in the U.S. So now let's talk about some benefits of pesticide use. Pesticides are the most effective way of controlling pests. They also lower the price for food and clothing materials. They offer more jobs for society. They prevent outbreak of diseases related to rodents and insects. And they also offer more variety of products in the market. Some of the issues related to pesticides is that they're mobile on the environment. They also cause a lot of bioaccumulation and biomagnification in the environment. And uh, some of the pests develop genetic resistance. Hey, excuse me. Uh, do you think I could ask you some questions? Um, sure. Sure. Um, do you know anything about pesticides? Um, uh, no. A little bit. Do you know of any issue that they have with the pesticide use? Um, I think one of the biggest problems they have is like the runoff, the contaminates the rivers and the lakes and stuff. And what's the problem with that? It causes like an algae to bloom and it ends up killing all the fishes that live in like the area. Another issue with pesticides is the fact that many pests become resistant to them. In this picture, we can we have the plants and we have a mite, which is a pest. We can see that after the pesticide application, there is a small amount of individuals. Those individuals represent a resistant population. In other words, they are not affected by the pesticides. Those individuals will reproduce and pass its genes to the next generation. As a result, we are not able to eliminate some of the pests, which might influence production. At this point, we have to find another pesticide that can affect the pests or simply create a new one. I mean, they kill insects, so it's different crops or something like that. Do you think they're bad or good? Um, I think they're bad because they're actually a little bad. Hi, I'm Louisa, and my husband and I are farmers from the U.S. Before I use any pesticide, I'm required to have a license by the Environmental Protection Agency. When did we start regulating pesticides? The first kind of pesticide regulation came from a policy called FIFRA. FIFRA was passed in 1947 in response to a substantial pesticide increase during World War II. 
They primarily dealt with labeling issues and flaws. This was the early start. Now we have the FDA, USDA, and probably the most applied, EPA. EPA stands for Environmental Protection Agency. Though all three departments have their role, the department most seen for control in this field is the EPA. Before there's any sale or distribution of pesticides in the U.S., federal law requires any person or company to get registered or licensed by the EPA. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl?